Hi guys, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lola Clova. If you've never been here before, I teach all things beauty, business, and permanent makeup related. If you have been here before, then welcome back. I have over six years of experience being a business owner, being in the permanent makeup industry, and I love to use all of that information and knowledge that I have now to teach other people. With that being said, I just want to quickly mention that I have online courses available for you guys. I've created two courses for artists of all levels, brand spanking new beginners or people who already have taken a course before. These courses are designed for literally Literally every person of every level you don't have to have any experience or you could have also taken a course or two before and you don't feel comfortable or you don't feel confident as of yet sometimes we need to break old habits or form really good new ones these courses are available with or without a kit I will send you everything you need to start working right away if you already have your own materials then that's totally fine there's over 72 lessons per course each single lesson has a video component and a written component so in case you like to read and learn or you'd like to watch and learn then you'll have something that's to you in every single lesson. We only receive five star reviews. I truly made these courses with you guys in mind, with students in mind, with beginners in mind, because I was you. I never hold back anything or keep secrets to myself. So if you're interested, please click the link in my bio to get more information on the courses. All right, with that being said, let's go into our video. So today's video is gonna be all about switching over from a lash technician to a brow technician or vice versa, going from a brow technician to a lash technician. I wanted to make this video because this is a very common switch of roles or addition to services because lashes and brows are the top two services to offer to women nowadays there's a lot of people who have already mastered their skill or just started in one area and they kind of want to also spread their wings to another area believe it or not I was one of these people I started off with doing eyebrows but then I also switched over to the lash side and then I just combined both of them and the clientele of over 10,000 people I know that it's not always so easy and I know that there's people who have real worries about doing this because they wonder if they're too deep in if they'll have success in the other specialty or that they'll lose clients and they're scared that if they branch out to something else that people are gonna stop coming to them or there's some vice versa where they think you know what I'm already so good at this I'm gonna go and smash the second thing that I'm gonna add on I was one of those people and boy was I really really wrong about that but I'll talk about that later these are valid questions these are valid worries to have because typically what we're conditioned to believe is someone that specializes in only one thing can only be good at that one thing and you know someone that tries to do everything is not necessarily gonna be the best at every single one of them which is at least the way I thought but today I want to talk to you guys all about the benefits of what this can do for you and your business I personally went from eyebrows to lashes and when I did this I had already started doing eyebrows microblading in particular I found that I was still intrigued by lashes I had this motion in my head that I was like okay you know I'm pretty good at microblading so far I wasn't good at the time but I thought I was which is all that matters really I basically said you know what I'm already so good at eyebrows I'm gonna go take this lash course it's gonna be easy breezy lemon squeezy and I'm gonna be super good right off the bat and I'm just gonna add on more services and make money right away no this was completely wrong I totally bombed when I first learned eyelashes because it's a completely different skill set I had in my in my head that you know what they're both working with hands you need to be detail oriented for both I already know how to control my hand for tiny little movements so I should be fine but it's completely different they have their own sets of knowledge, own sets of skills that you need to master to become good at either one of them. If you're like me and you think, you know what, it's gonna be super duper easy for me, let me go and do this, unless you're a unicorn and I'm, I totally suck, then you may be one of these people that just catches on right away and you just absolutely kill it from the beginning. Or you might be like every other person where you need a little bit of time and conditioning and learning and practicing to actually get good. And if you are one of these people, it's completely okay, it's completely normal. So if you're in lashes or you're in eyebrows and you want to add on lashes or you want to add on eyebrows do it don't think you're gonna be amazing right off the bat and kind of think back to when you first started doing what you're doing now and how far you've come already keep that a realistic goal in your head for the second service you're about to add this doesn't have to be just eyebrows or eyelashes if you're doing eyelashes you want to do nails or if you want to do hair if you want to do waxing whatever the case is that you want to add on to your current list of services do it but be realistic about it in the beginning know that you're not going to be amazing right off the bat but just like how you kept on with the first service you offer if you keep on and practice with the second service you're eventually gonna get better I sucked in the beginning but I didn't give up I didn't throw away all the stuff that I 
just learned and all the tools I have for lashes and said, you know what, I'm so bad at this, I'm just gonna stick to eyebrows. If I had done that, I would have missed out on literally half of my business that I've built today. Don't think that you were meant for lashes or eyebrows or whatever you're currently doing and that you can only stick to that. You just have to persist and you have to continue to learn past those barriers and sometimes you have bad habits from one service that you offer that you need to kind of break for the second service. Totally normal. If you don't have this, then you just are a unicorn and you're super special and I hate you. I'm joking. I'm really impressed by that. And I have seen that with other students where they have, you know, experience in something else. And I think to myself, oh, they're probably going to be struggling just as much in the beginning, but they absolutely kill it. And if you're one of them, that's even better. I personally wasn't. However, I did find a way to continue practicing the lashes and I found a way to make it my own where I added my own little twist to it with my own taste and how I would want it to look on myself. By doing this, by switching over from just doing eyebrows to doing eyebrows and lashes, there's so many benefits that come with it. First and foremost, you are expanding your skill set. You are not going to be amazing right off the bat, guys. Don't think that when you start, you're just going to, you know, kill it because you're already used to working with your hands. Even if you are that case, or if you need a little bit of time to get better, either way, you're going to expand your skill set to be better at two things, to be good at two things. The more skills you add on, the more valuable you become. By becoming more valuable, you're obviously increasing your value and your income in return. Number two, you will gain new clients. The way I thought about it back in the day was eyebrows, especially when I started, it wasn't as common to see people getting their eyebrows done. I thought, you know what? Eyebrows are really kind of hard to commit to because it's something permanent on your face. So not everyone's going to be like, oh, let me go get a tattoo today on my face. But hey, people made me consistent to say, you know what? Let me go get my lashes done. Let me try them out. If I don't like it, I'll stop. I thought to myself, this is less of a commitment for clients to start coming to me and to start trusting me. You know, you can eventually turn these people into a cross sell, an easier way to expand your clientele by having services where people can try you out, see how you are as a person, as a professional. And if they trust you with one thing, chances are they're going to start trusting you with other services as well. And they may only trust you with it because they like you so much. You have to remember a lot of these services, people come to you because you're you. Also, you're good at your work, but also because you're you. But like I said, you're going to be able to gain new clients that you wouldn't have gotten otherwise just by having the brow service, for example. So I ended up getting a massive amount of clientele just by adding on the lashes that I wouldn't have gotten if I had just stuck with eyebrows. Not only did I gain new clients for lashes, and I also ended up using those clients to cross sell. Once the trust is gained, it also works both ways. It's not like you'll just get your new clients to come support your brow services as well. You can also get your brow clients to come support your new lash service. So it works for both sets of clientele. You can just kind of have them switch over. And even in one appointment, one of my most popular services was both of them together. So you can actually start having bundles, packages for people to come so that in one sitting, you make more money, actually provide quality services that you're good at to one client and one client alone. And imagine that multiple times a day or multiple times a week, you're already doubling your revenue. The last thing that I want to touch upon here is the main thing that it gives you the opportunity is to make more money. I know that we're in this to do what we love, you know, create things with passion, help people feel better about themselves. But we are also in this to make money. You need money to pay your bills. You need money to get on with life, especially if you have children or other responsibilities. So by adding on a new service, such as lashes or eyebrows, then you're going to be able to make more money and not just more money with the new service, but also using your existing clientele to add on that new service and your new clientele to add on your existing service. So it'll benefit both ways. And eventually you'll become so good at both of them that it'll just be guaranteed income for both skill sets. Don't ever think that you should just ever stick to one thing and that you're only meant for that. Or if you have tried expanding into a different service and you're not so good right away, that's okay. I would highly recommend that you start little by little, practice every day and remind yourself and humble yourself by thinking back to how you started this current service. You probably weren't so good at it. Just don't give up. You've done it once. You could do it again. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope I gave you some important information. These are just my personal opinions and thoughts. So just keep that in mind. But all I ever want to do is help you guys and give you honest advice on how you can elevate your business and yourself. So if you enjoyed this video and if it did help you in any way, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more content and feel free to comment your opinion on this down below. If you have any questions, you can also comment them down below. I'll try to help as many people as I can. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Mwah.